welcome to subramani i just uh, finished a video saying that i will not be answering specific queries and i also said when there is something generic i will answer so here is a question and um, from a view, uh, from a reader who says i've been following your channel regularly for the past 2 years uh, like your approach towards achieving financial independence i'm a 33 year old woman i work in a psu uh, staying at mumbai uh, i got separated from my husband last november and uh, i had some uh, investments in mutual funds having my uh, current uh, ex husband uh, as a joint holder i am continuing the sips in these funds as a primary unit holder and the sip amount gets debited from my account now i want to delete the joint holder and keep my mother or father as a joint holder i am uh, also ready to change the holding to single and keep it either either one of my parents as nominee i have approached the mutual fund uh, companies uh, for changing the mode but i have received a blatant no for an answer uh, they suggested to redeem the amount and uh, start the new sip but i don't want to interrupt the compounding of my funds so want to continue with the sips uh, kindly advise what should i do now uh, i can uh, understand uh, uh, let me call you nora uh, that's not your real name but uh, that's a name which i uh, which came up with the next mail <laughs> so so nora uh, let me put it this way when you buy a property uh, for whatever reasons if i buy a property with me and my wife as joint names the world considers her to be half the owner of this property now that is exactly how it works in case of a mutual fund also so you and your husband are the joint owners of this mutual fund immaterial of what is the nav who is investing doesn't matter the law says that this is the, the two of you are joint now at the time of your divorce if you i mean if you you said you've gone through a divorce if you've gone through a proper divorce and uh, the papers are in place please get your husband to sign or your ex husband to sign and redeem all the money uh, you have no choice but to pay capital gains tax on that or whatever the law unfortunately is not very good in this because uh, you will have to pay the tax on this now what will happen is this will show in your ais and your ito will ask what happened and then you will clarify uh, unfortunately even though the clarification is very very fair the law does not recognize it so you will pay capital gains tax that is the tough part of it the uh, tougher part or the worst part of this could be your husband uh, or ex husband refusing to sign on this that will be very tricky for you to handle because the law says very clearly that uh, joint holding uh, means uh, both of you are owners so the law okay let me put it this way legally you cannot uh, delete your husband's name uh, except when he dies and you're too young i just saw your age you're very young you can't wait for that and even when you assuming he dies also you or you to it's very important for you to get a copy of his death certificate for you to be able to remove his name there is no other way that you can remove his name except uh, you can get a court order saying this is my husband he was my, uh, this is my money uh, he was my husband here are the divorce papers you may need to get a law a legal uh, uh, order on that you may get have to get a court order on that saying yes this uh, this name should be removed they will not remove it just because of uh, somebody has given a legal opinion if i give you in writing that yes yes she is divorced and this should be removed it will not work you will need some legal uh, removal right uh, and that if that doesn't happen you will have to sit with your husband redeem the money uh, take it and if you if you have to pay him a price for doing that bad luck but then it is worth it uh, even worse than that is you will have to pay the capital gains tax whatever is incurred on that after that you will have to reinvest and that money then your compounding will continue don't worry your compounding about your compounding of course your compounding is impacted to the extent that you will pay taxes you will pay some money to your husband to uh, ex husband to get a signature to that extent there will be a loss there will be sgt which means there will be securities uh, trading tax uh, all those things will be there it is a, it's a very small price to pay after this my suggestion is you hold it in your single name with your parents as uh, nominees because tomorrow to your parents should not get into trouble secondly i have seen a case where uh, father was threatened by a daughter saying that um, i will not come and look after you unless you make this property a joint property i have spoken about this in my video earlier it was a nice big flat in uh, santa cruz those days it was worth 4 crores today it may be worth 8 crores i am not very sure 
and the father uh, buckled into the pressure uh, here his son was in us and son was anyway not planning to come to india so to the daughter had to be incentivized to look after the father by making the property into a joint property uh, so they made it into a joint property telling her that after the father's death the flat will belong to her unfortunately she had signed a bank guarantee for her son uh and that bank guarantee had failed so the bank came to claim some 35 40 lakhs plus interest whatever now you couldn't give up a 4 crore flat because somebody had to be paid 35 40 lakhs so the son flew in from us uh used his money to pay off 35 40 lakhs uh, paid off the banker and then uh, this property was now in the name of the father and the daughter a very then they made it very clear that uh, to the society that uh, you know this is just held for convenience it does not really matter you have to again pay sham duty change it make it in single name and make the daughter the nominee so when you are not very sure about whether you want to hold it together which i tell people who have just got married if you've just got married don't have to make everything into either or survivor and you know uh, either or survivor is still okay but making everything into joint is not a very sensible thing to do so be very careful uh, husband and wife you can still hold all things together because you you're going to be together however in case of a divorce it's very important that the person uh sits and clarifies all this removes all these uh, uh, small irritants if it's a house it should go into the single name if it is any mutual fund etc the uh, it should go into a single name the second person's name should be redeemed should be removed because when both of you are together you can delete the second name by uh, by redeeming again you'll have to redeem unfortunately our mutual fund industry will not allow you to just delete the second name right you will have to again redeem and uh, reinvest so you have to be very careful about these uh, technical things and the uh, uh, mutual fund industry has not gone to the to the income tax and clarified that in case of say a person switches from a direct scheme to a growth scheme it's not uh, sorry or from a dividend scheme to a growth scheme this is not so bad but what happens if he shifts from a growth scheme to a dividend scheme there could be capital gains tax what happens if a person shifts from a uh, from a either or survivor to a single name by redeeming and investing there will be capital gains tax what happens if he shifts from a uh, arn uh, i mean investing through a banker uh, and in, instead of investing through a banker if he wants to invest direct and he makes a shift will there be capital gains tax yes there will be capital gains tax uh, and all this is going to be captured in your ais so if you don't mention it in your return which is very legitimate right you have not in, actually done anything you have you been holding as ab now you are holding as a you are not really uh, redeem you remove removed 50 lakh from here and put 50 lakhs here money has just come here and gone there right so nothing has really happened as per as you are concerned technically you say nothing has happened i got 50 lakhs i invested 50 lakhs unfortunately for the uh, income tax authorities and for the mutual fund industry it means 50 lakhs was redeemed and 50 lakh got reinvested maybe in the same fund maybe in different funds it doesn't really matter but you will pay capital gains tax on that uh, as long as we don't have any clarification on this uh, you will suffer so nora uh, you don't have too much of a choice so sit with your ex husband and redeem it and then reinvest don't worry about uh, uh, cost of doing it don't worry about the taxation don't worry about the capital gains don't worry about compounding compounding will start as soon as you start investing right so there is no great choice that you have i hope i have clarified thank you